Hey guys, here's a video of how to do an oil change on a Volvo S60R. Here's what you need. You need some oil. I got 5W13, an oil wrench tool to be able to move the oil filter, an oil filter, a sump plug with a watch washer, but I've got a magnet one, um, an oil pan to obviously get the oil from the sump. Um, I'll put links of the description um, of where I've got the products and everything. We also need a ratchet, um, a spanner, um, but you probably just get away with just with a spanner. Um, I'll go more of the size um, when also we go in to actually remove the bolt and everything. Right, so you need to make this sure the car is on ramps, um, or you know you can jack it up and put it on axle stands. But in this case, I've got mine um, on car ramps. Once the car's on uh, the ramps or axle stands, you need to turn the engine on um, to warm the engine up so it'll be more easier for the oil to come out of the sump. Um, so I'm just going to warm the car up for, for a couple of minutes just to let temperature just to kick in or whatever. As you can see the temperature uh, is rising now so that should be okay. Um, so I'll go turn off the engine. Right, I'm under the car now. You need to make sure you've got your um, oil sump or collector, should I say, to collect the oil. Um, you need a 17mm um, socket or spanner, um, but I had a bit of uh, difficult trying to get it off with the wrench, so I use a uh, spanner. It didn't work, so I went back to the wrench. Um, hopefully, should we get it out this time? Better get it out this time. <coughs> gonna give it a good, good old whack, and eventually, I did get it out. <coughs> right, so I've loosened it now. Let's give it a bit of force. Um, so I'm just gonna undo it. So the oil should start coming up, coming out now. Be careful there; it might it might be a little bit warm the oil because obviously you've warmed the engine up. There we go. Right, at this point now you just need to let the oil drain. Might might take a good while now. So just let it drain, come back to it once it's fi finished draining. Right, so it's, fi it's finished draining, um, so get some paper towel or right, some cloth, give it a quick, uh, good wipe and clean around the sump plug area, just make sure it stopped leaking and everything. I had, to get, I had to get some more uh, paper towels because it's still dripping quite a bit. Just want to make sure there's none left and it's completely dry and clean. Right, so here's the new sun plug with a magnetic or magnetic, should I say. There's still quite a bit coming out, but I'm going to try and just see if it'll stop by installing the plug. Um, this has quite, got quite a big head on it, so it's not 17mm, 
sure it's like 21 mil, I think. Um, the sun, the sun, the new sun plug. out of the way because it's not jump it tripping no more. Yeah so like I said it's not the standard 17 mil it's quite a big um, head on it. Um, I think I didn't have the right socket for it because it's quite big. Right, so I had to get a big, big adjustable wrench. It's quite big, um, but it was, you know, it enables me to uh, tighten the sump. So that's now fully tight, one, one come undone. Um, so let's move on and obviously get the um, um, earth also replaced. Right, so it's time to uh, replace um, the oil filter. We have to get the oil filter wrench tool. Um, and it's, like it's got grooves, so it should just slot inside and then obviously undo it. Be careful, I know obviously the oil has been drained, but there's still been quite a bit of oil uh, in the filter, so quite a bit of might come out anyway. There we go, it's quite, quite a lot of oil. <laughs> make sure you don't get it everywhere. I just need to let it all drip out all the oil um, and put obviously the oil filter housing, just leave it so let's let, just let it drain or whatever it's, you know, it's quite messy, there's a lot of oil everywhere so now you can take um, the filter out, look at that filter, filthy <laughs> Yeah, so just just plunk it in the in the oil pan, give it a good old clean, make sure it's completely dry. I did have to get I did have to get some more rags. It is just so sobbing wet, so I'll make sure there's no hot oil or whatever. Now I'm pretty sure you could probably use some, I don't know, engine cleaner or whatever just to be able to get some oil off that sump or whatever. But it didn't really bother me, it was really pretty clean and dry. Once you've um, 
remove the oil filter need to put one need to put the housing to one side give it a good clean inside make sure it's not there to anything um, and also you move the old seals you will need um, some pliers for this as you can see I've got some pliers um, you just better to pull it um, and the old seal should just come out there we go it's quite easy it's just coming out now right you just need to give it a good wipe down to make sure it's completely clean because you've got to put some new seals on um, so to put a good wipe down in and outside Before you put the new seal on, you need to get some clean oil and just wrap it, just like um, put some oil on the new seal and just obviously just wipe it around the new seal um, and then obviously place the new seal on back onto the housing. As you can see, I'm just going through uh, wiping the oil on it. So you can see the new seal, new seal just slots just locked in and that's pretty much it pretty much it really. So now we can go ahead um, and install the new housing um, and filter. Moving the camera to a uh, better location so you can see the elevator housing or location, should I say? <sighs> also, don't do what I do put the oil filter in the housing, you need to take it out and just put the filter in on its own. So that's now securing, so just push really hard and just tighten the housing up just keep turning it really so it's quite tight and also get a wrench um, and also tighten it even more so it's really tight that, that's quite tight now so I had a bit of trouble trying to try and get in the tool off, but that's pretty much on now and quite tight. Yeah, I'll give it a good once over again, just give it a good clean and wipe, just make sure there's no oil around it and everything. Once you've uh, given it a good clean, then just give it a good inspection. Just make sure you know, it's fully tight and uh, check the oil sump again to make sure that's fully tight and it's not loose and then you can see it's been a good thing everywhere um, but that's pretty much it Right, it's now time to put some new oil into the engine so you need to undo the cap I gave the cap a little clean and obviously just found the uh, Engines give it make sure it's just clean and everything. I received a, f a f like a funnel with my oil. Um, now you can buy a separate funnel if you really wanted to. It's just a lot, lot easier to put oil into the engine. At the moment, just undoing the caps on the new oil to make sure it's all open. So now you can put some new oil to make sure you don't spill it anywhere. But also with the funnel, it should help not to spill. It's quite awkward to hold the funnel and quite heavy four litre.
Right, so that's nearly, that's pretty much all finished now. It's a five litre bottle, it's quite big. These engines, I think, I believe, take about 5.5 litres. Um, so I've, I've got an another bottle to put in. Um, so let's make sure I do that now. So here's uh, the other bottle. It's only a litre bottle. You need to make sure you're not putting all the oil in there. Give it a good wipe and good clean over. So yeah, at this point, you need to start the engine and just give it a minute or two, just let the engine run, just also let the oil circulate around the engine. Um, and also, you have to then recheck just to make sure you're not overfilling or underfilling or whatever. So let's turn it on. The car is just idling at the moment, I've just left the engine running. Just make sure there's no leaks under the engine, just, you know, just check around the oil sump area, the oil filter area, just make sure it's not leaking. Right, I've turned the engine off, I'm just going to check the dipstick just to see what level we are with the, with the oil. So just give it a good wipe and you need to then you need to put it, put it back in so you better get an accurate level. So you need to check the line on the dipstick to see if it's under or over. By looks of it's under, so you need to top up a little bit more. So just give it a good another wipe again and put it back in. I'll pour some more oil, but then put all of it in. I just make sure I put enough in. But I think at my situation, I think I have to put all the oil in. So that's all now empty. Put the cap back on, make sure it's tight. I've started the engine up again, just letting it idle, just to make just let it circulate the engine again. I mean, what I do is I'll recheck the um, dipstick just to make sure it's at the correct level.
Right, so I've turned the engine off. Um, so I'm going to give it another check. So I'm just going to check the dipstick again, just to make sure we're at a correct level. So I'm just going to give it another wipe over, and then I'm going to put it back in the engine. So as you can see, that's pretty much what I wanted, it's pretty much bang on. Give it another wipe, put it over, and then put it back in the engine. That's now completed, and that's how you do an oil change and an oil filter change. If you like this video, now press the thumb like, now subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want some more of this, please let me know, and also I'll do some more videos, and that's it. Thank you.